this first song is sort of summary. I wrote it uh, one summer I lived in Chicago. Don't know if you've ever been there. And I felt very madly infatuated with this boy. Um, and I like, called home and I was like, Mom, I found the one. It's great. Uh, but the problem was that he had a girlfriend. So uh, I did the angsty person thing and I just wrote a song about it uh, in his honor. So this goes after many unrequited loves anybody else has out there for this evening. Um, yeah, this song is called For Liam. A dream I was at the point with you. We laid in the sun till it hit high noon. Then we walked to the edge and jumped in the murky blue and held each other close because we knew that at home it would be way too hot to spoon. Chicago summers, they happen once there. Never the same, and if you're lucky, you notice I inconveniently stumbled across you before you were single and getting lost at university. You know, I remember you said to me, I love the way that you say things. So I sit here alone on the rocks, and I think hard about how I should stop with these big ideas of being in us. Cause I know she's Earth and I'm only my heart. She got to you first, so I'm just that other girl thinks that you are the sun. Do -do, do -do -do -do. I have this funny little thing I do when the world bites and barks and gets too cruel. I flip through the photos in my mind of you and in a few moments I'm in a better mood. I don't know why there's just something about your smile that makes me want to smile too. So I sit here alone on the rocks and I think hard about how I should stop with these big ideas of being in us cause I know she's earth and baby I'm a heart she got to you first so I'm just that other girl thinks that you are the sun and maybe someday I could be Venus or even Mercury to you but I pray the day when I hear you say Girl, you be earth and I'll be the moon, yeah. I wanna, I wanna be the moon. Today I sit here on the rocks and count the number of times my mind wanders off to a day in summer too far away for clocks where you and I are sitting by the murky waters and we watch the sun rise and we watch it fall, and at the end of the day, call it ours. Yeah, at the end of the day, the sun's just ours. At the end of the day, call it ours. Yeah. 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 I don't know if anybody out there studies physics or space, so if you do, just keep quiet if anything I said was wrong. <laughs> um, uh, um, okay, and then this next song um, is like a goofy song, and I did perform it last time. I did an open mic for Yellow Sofa, so if there's any lifers here, I'm um, sorry, you have to do a repeat. But um, uh, this song is called The Primate Love Song, and uh, <laughs> I wrote it when I was going to school, I just graduated. Um, I am an anthropology major, uh, so for those of you not in the know, that just mostly means that I'm like pretty unemployed until um, the next Indiana Jones movie gets made. Um, they need me. Uh, so I wrote this song and I sort of mixed my school life and my home life. Um, and there's not that much academic lingo in there. I think the one vocab word I gotta uh, clarify because there's been some confusion is that um, 
the word grooming is not as inappropriate as it sounds in this song. I, uh, when I was studying primates a lot, um, I found out that primates groom each other as like a sign of endearment, and I just thought that was really cute. So I like, put that in this song, but a lot of people have thought that it meant something it doesn't mean, so I, so, uh, but mating does mean that, so. Okay, so, <laughs> here This is the primate love song. <clears throat> I found out about three months ago that our closest relatives were bonobos and chimpanzees. Bonobos, they like to have sex all the time, and chimps, all they ever want to do is fight, and I guess that made just too much sense to me. Cause that's what we do, and by we, I don't mean me and you. Cause we haven't met yet, but I know my mate is somewhere on this planet, and if we're choosing sides, I'm more of a chimpanzee. But baby, if you want to woo me, it's not too hard to try and soothe me. Just promise me a nice daily grooming. I promise to find your branch of this family tree. I don't know how primates do date night, but I'm fine with McFlurries and late night episodes of the TV show Freaks and Geeks. And I'm not really the puzzle type, but we could do puzzles and sing Motown all night, or go to basketball games and yell at the referees. Yeah, that's what we do, and by we, I don't mean me and you. This is one huge savanna, and I've already been to Denmark and back, so I hope I find you by winter, or I might in fact freeze. So baby, if you want to pursue me, it's not too tough, you don't have to be cool, please. Let me know if you're into grooming, and I'll let you know if I'm stopping by your troop next week. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, oh. These are not accurate primate noises. I was thinking maybe if you just heard the sound of my voice, you'd come running. I found out about three months ago that our closest relatives were no bows and chimpanzees. And neither is really into monogamy. But that's what we do. Oh, baby, aren't you looking for me, too? I know you're somewhere on this planet, and the day we meet, the primates can can it, cause there's only you for me, and only me for you. Cause, baby, love is not about grooming, or mating, or excessive I love you -ing. It's that feeling, feeling I get when you walk into the room, and there's no one I'd rather be human with than you. Uh oh, be human with than you. Uh oh, there's no one I'd rather be human with than you. Wow. <laughs>